Howdy Rover Riders! Well, you're thinking about adding e-assist to your Terratrike Rover. There's some things you gotta think about. One of the things you gotta think about is what type are you gonna get? Are you going to go with the Bosch system that Terratrike does? It's gonna run you about three grand or more. Or you can add a Bafang system to your Rover. That's what I'm doing. I'm adding the Bafang system. Another thing you have to think about is where are you going to place the battery and what size battery you're going to get. There are 48 volt batteries, there are 52 volt batteries. There are large size batteries for longer riding capacity. Uh, 13 amp hours, 14 amp hours, I think the biggest one is a 20 amp hour one. It's a huge thing. Then you've got to decide where you're going to mount all the necessary controls. Um, you've got your uh, display unit, you've got your throttle, and there are different types of throttle. There's a thumb throttle, there is a twist throttle. There are different kind of controllers. Uh, you can go with the Bafang standard controller, then they've got a few upgrades. Uh, if you decide to go with a uh, non-Bafang uh, motor, but go with one of the Bafang clones, as I call it, uh, Luna Cycle has a wonderful, it, it's still a Bafang, it's just that uh, it's been slightly modified by the uh, company. Um, Luna Cycle has a great uh, kit that you can put together, that's what I ended up using. Um, you're going to have to think about your chain length, depending on whether or not you have uh, the, uh, the internal I uh, the I8 the external one over here that has a derailleur in the back or whether you have the new Vinci drive now these two the new Vinci drive here and the the internal eight gear one here I think are the easiest ones to add a Bafang motor to I'm not sure about the external nine because that chain link constantly changes and the derailleur system has is going to have to be adjusted. Um, also, the front chain ring on most of the rovers come with a standard 32 tooth chain ring and the Bafangs usually have one of three choices you can get uh, that are uh, usually started about, uh, if I remember right, 44 tooth, 46 tooth, and 48 tooth, or is it 50 tooth? I don't. There, there, there's a variety out there depending on where you go. So that's also an option. But of course, where you're going to mount your battery at. That's a big thing as well. Um, the other thing that you need to think about is how much this is going to cost you. Plan on spending at least $1,500 just for the parts. And that's if you install this yourself. If you watch this series of videos, uh, you should be able to pretty much do it yourself because I'll walk you through every step that I've done. This is the first of the 13 videos that will make up the series of this Bafang build. Um, I did this in the confines of my little apartment, so you're going to see a lot of mess, a lot of parts sitting on the table next to the where I did this. So, yeah, this is probably how some of you are going to end up doing it too if you decide to do it yourself. So, let's get started. First thing you got to do, of course, spend the money and order the kit. Whether you order it from Bafang or you order it from Luna or whoever. That's what you got to do first. And once you get it, well, you go on to the next step, which is the next video. See you there.